came to Central State uh, based off a visit that I had came. I've never heard anything about Central State from me being from Detroit, Michigan. So uh, when my auntie came up to me and said something about Central State and something about a visit, I said, well, you know, why not? So when I came here, I just really liked the atmosphere and how basically it's like a big family here. It's the first place to accept me. Seriously. Um, in all honesty, um, I decided to come to Central because when I graduated high school, I had a 1.9 GPA, and um, my parents are alumni here at Central, so this was the only option for me. I came to Central State because it was an HBCU, first and foremost, and it was not far from home, like it's only like a five hour drive, but it wasn't close where I feel like I'm still experiencing all the things that I experienced at home. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to move out south and go to the ABCU still. So it was either here or Virginia. Stayed because of the marching band. It was close to home. Coming out of high school, the band was my life. And it was the closest thing from Michigan to here with the same type of experience that I wanted. And it was HBCU, so I kind of had another plus that kind of put me here. I honestly did not want to come here, but I only came here because my family was coming. So I didn't want to be alone. I came to Central State because this was a last decision choice. This wasn't my first choice, but I guarantee it probably wouldn't have been my last. They gave me a chance no other school probably wouldn't have given me at a at a university period with the GPA I came out of high school with. Um, I decided to come to Central. Uh, I have three older sisters who went here, so it wasn't actually my plan to come here uh, at all. Everybody had come here, I wanted to go somewhere else. But, uh, you know, the um, Central, Central has, isn't school the heart, like they say, for a lot of people. I actually graduated from high school with a 3.98 GPA. So I could have gone into a lot of schools. But uh, I chose Central because, you know, been around the family atmosphere, the culture, that type of thing. Honestly, I looked at several universities in Ohio, but Central State's the one that has wanted me when I wanted it. So I made the decision to come around. Uh, my mother worked here, so, and then my aunt worked here as well. So it's kind of like a family tradition to just be at the university. My aunt also graduated from the university, my mom graduated. So, legacy type thing. The water here is pretty bad. We have well water, and like, it kind of messed up my skin. My skin went through a rough patch, but you know, cocoa butter and Jesus. There's a lack of water pie. I feel like um, everybody on this campus can walk around wearing other schools and represent other schools, but you know, really, it's what school do you go to? It's, you go to Central State University, so why would you feel comfortable repping Kent State or another school or even our rival school if you go to Central State University? The issues in Central State. Uh, a lot of people, there's a big misconception about me here at this school that I actually hate the school. That would be foolish of me to actually hate the school. I don't hate the school. I hate some of the ideas that goes on here. I don't like the culture. And the culture is not that one of, uh, of you know, good academic status. This isn't a university. You know what I mean? We don't have the university feel. It feels like high school with dorms. And it's okay with, with certain people in the administration. They're cool with complacency and regression. That's my whole thing with the place. I understand that the school has monetary issues, but university doesn't. I understand that there are going to be problems for the students. What university and what college experience don't you have issues and, and, and hurdles to jump over? My thing is, when you get to a bump in the road, how about we try and fix that bump? You know what I mean? The system is not perfect. A person told me a couple of days ago, the system is not perfect. But when we reach an imperfect part of the system, why is it that we can't just, uh, you know, work to fix that part? You know, I just don't understand. It's, it's just okay here. That's the problem. That's my main problem. Communication. There's a very huge lack of communication from administration to faculty and students when it comes to certain issues that they just, I feel like, they kind of make without our true input and opinion. And I feel like there can be, you know, just a little bit more openness when it comes to things. You know, keep it real. We're all adults. You can tell us what's really going off and we can bear things better. There's nothing different from how things used to be for what students used to fight for things, where now we just know it's kind of we just kind of lay down and take it. I feel like they kind of just 
do things without us, our input, with our, our best interest, what they think that we should need as far as what we really need and what will be appropriate for us and future generations coming to Central State. The sanitation in Mercer Pass. When I was eating one chicken Wednesday, there were ants in the back, the annex of the and the worker just came and wiped the hands off the table with a rag and went and cleaned other tables like, are you serious? And then she complained that it's the students who are not picking up their trash. No, you're not doing your job and you're not cleaning up. Faculty and staff forget that at the end of the day they work for us. They're a customer. We're the customers, excuse me, they're the employees. Your job is to teach me, your job is to help me with anything I need help with because at the end of the day my tuition pays you a rent. And that sounds kind of intense and it sounds kind of mean, but it's true. It's a shame that I have to call financial aid 87 times to get a phone call picked up just to be on hold for another 45 minutes and my issue never gets fixed. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There's money in the system. We see the budget. We see this money sitting there. There's money in everywhere. And there are students who struggle every day for a scholarship, yet there are football players who can't even make the grades, but they ain't getting these scholarships. It's, that doesn't make sense to me. Communication value coming from staff to students. Um, not necessarily the teachers per se, but the staff that work in the administrative buildings and things of that nature. Um, when you try to get simple things done, sometimes the attitudes aren't the best. Um, they kind of treat you as if you already have a problem um, when you come in there. And, that's one of my major concerns because as a professional, I believe you should always handle things in a professional manner. Um, no matter what's going on, you are the liaison between the school and the students. On building our majors, like you go to different schools, and I'm not even gonna make it a PWI versus an HBCU thing. You go to different HBCUs, their common buildings are the size of our sins buildings. They have access to labs and um, recording facilities and things throughout all the day, 24 hour access. We have um, broken computers, we have non-working printers, we have um, libraries that close at a time. I've never, I've never even heard of a library closing until I got to Central State and that's it's crazy to me because it's like even though they feel like the minority of people on this campus are using it, it's really not about the minority or the majority. It's about a whole. I don't feel like we should be struggling to do the necessities. We're struggling to be able to print our papers for our teachers. We're struggling to be able to do our homework. I'm a con major. I don't have a Mac. I'm a PC user but I can't get access to a Mac lab because the building closes at 5.30. Um, it, we only have one or two Mac labs and on the campus in general, I just feel like the money that this college is getting, it should be put into what we really need. And what we really need is necessities. Like, I don't understand why Wesley still looks like a 1997 school building why there's chalkboards. I don't understand why there's chalkboards in buildings. There's, my, my high school was a math and science academy. We had no chalkboards, we had whiteboards, we had um, projectors in every room. We had um, an auditorium that can fit everybody on the campus, plus visitors. We had labs and things like that. So coming from a high school that had so much and then coming to a college that doesn't have half of that, it's kind of disappointing. Attitudes with the cash management and the financial aid. Uh, us students, we don't have the, all the knowledge when it comes down to those things. And when we do, we still like to ask questions. So I don't think that they should have any types of attitude when it comes to those things. That is my concern. Overall, the student body honestly is my concern because that's the lifeblood of this campus. That's what's going to make it great or make it uh, fall. But you know, things like this student center over here that's coming up, it's a bright spot. You know, things like that. I hope that we can get a higher caliber of students in here. It's close knit. Like everyone knows each other. If you 
don't know somebody, you know somebody who knows that person. It's like a, a family, almost with like second and third cousins of sorts. Teachers here, they really care about you and your grades and making sure that you stay on top of your work. And uh, of course, you know, why not the ladies and sipping on the road to work incorporated? Like, they really, that's who I really aim for a Viking because they, they really care about you too. So. All their school, you know, I like the fact that most professors, for better or worse, they do know my name. And um, that goes a long way with me. And I um, also really like the fact that there are people here who are here to help you out. We're a family. At the end of the day, we can complain that I hate Central this and financial aid and that and the food and the cab is this. But if you leave this campus and you hear another person say anything bad about Central State University or they bad mouth this school, you instantly go into defense mode. This is your home. This is my home. Marauder Land is not just an institution. It's home. Like you need to be able to find yourself um, in the midst of what's going on. Um, I admire the fact that there are people here that are trying at this black institution, so it's always good to see blacks trying to succeed. And it feels homey, like, even though some people complain about the student body count, I actually appreciate it in some sense. Like, you get the know more people, like, know your teachers personally, know the, the, the faculty personally, you have, like, a personal relationship with the people on this campus versus going to a bigger university where you're just one of the crowd. You're just one of the thousands of students that go there and you get overlooked and you don't get the help that you need and you don't get the the full experience. Like, I don't have an environment. Like, even if I don't have siblings, I can still find friends and then they treat you like family. I like how it's diverse here. Everyone gets along with everyone. No one has a reason to not get along with anyone. And it's it's different here. You don't have a lot of conflict or you don't have a lot of racism or anything like that. So you feel really comfortable uh, forming friendships and relationships with the faculty. And I like that a lot of the staff members, especially the ones I work with, are also um, interested in it because when you can reach students on a different level, then they're more likely to come to you for things that really matter when it comes to the work. And I see a lot of that at Central. For God, for Central, for State. For God, for Central, for State. God, for Central, for State. For God, for Central, for State. For God, for Central, for State. For God, for Central, for State. God, for Central, for State. Good bloopers. Wait, wait, what? I was like, oh, they don't know Danny. Still going now. Because.